You survived. You don't come out the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear, I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in. There is a Houston uh, relationship with this film because Annabelle was in Houston and she had her own little chair. Uh -huh. Just creepy. <laughs> she is just that creepy. It, she just stares and you, you don't, you know, she, she'll make you uh, move her out of the room. My mom had a doll uh, many years ago that not, well, kind of resembled Anna, Annabelle. I, I mean, but just, you know, like it was, sure. it was one of those classic dolls. Right. So, but of sure. course, Annabelle brings out the bad part of, of, you know, the dolls. But so when I saw Annabelle the first time, I was like, okay, this reminds me. I said, Mom, <laughs> you have Annabelle. That's so wild. Yeah. They're, they're uh, you know, they're creepy. Every doll's creepy. If you just start staring at it a right. while, just That's different awesome. levels of it, maybe. Congratulations, by the way, on Conjuring, which I think was one of the best films. Oh, that was amazing. Great but to be a part of it. How, how do you, I mean, like, for, for you, how do you know that you're scaring people? Like, I mean, I was up all night, but what goes through your mind as a director when you're putting something like this together? Well, I think what you have to do is understand a couple. First, that people are op so open to this. People want to be scared. They want to be teased. They want to, they, they, they don't want to look what's on the other, they want to, like, pull the curtain open, but they do. And once you get them into that mode, you, you've got them in the theater and you set a tone, um, then it's a matter of actually manipulating them in, in, in an odd way um, with how you pace the movie, how you pace the scares, how you you um, create a, a believable you know situation. The more realistic it is, the scarier it is, and that's the start of it all. Then it's it's you know using the t techniques you know. To the fact that it's based on a true story uh, plays into this how. Well, it's it's based on the fact that there really was is a doll, Annabelle, that's a Raggedy Ann doll, a big Raggedy Ann doll that's in the basement of the Warrens. Now, obviously, James created this doll in The Conjuring for The Conjuring. Our story is the story that shows the audience how it got to where it was in The Conjuring. Let me just say that. What scares you? What scares me? Gosh, that's a really good question. Um, not a lot. Um, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm a, I don't know. What, what scares me? I guess... I don't think I would jump off a cliff with one of those bat things, you know. That would probably scare me, even though I'm in, I'm in, enticed. By, I've I've jumped out of a plane, you know, uh, with my son on his 18th birthday. We went skydiving, and I got to tell you, the best part was jumping out of that door. But to jump off a cliff with one of those things would probably scare me. What do you want people to walk away with from Annabelle? Obviously, besides the thrill factor, and you're having a great time. It's a good. It's a great escape. I want to, I want them to be. Uh, emotionally and, and sort of viscer viscerally touched. I think the movie is, it's a, it's scary, it's it's suspenseful. I think it's kind of emotional too. And I think I, I think if it it's just if it touches them on all three levels, then I'm happy.